guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome this is i'm positive episode 70 of my sim self let's play okay um in this episode as you can see we're just starting off with amore um if you guys follow the gameplay you guys should recognize that this is like our beach house and sulani and there's a whole bunch of people running down to the beach and what's going on right now is um, last episode I said I'd pick up when Amore ages up and today's her birthday so as part of kind of like her birthday celebration you know we kind of like invited all her friends over to um, you know like our beach house we could say we pay for their tickets and everything and we're just having like a little birthday celebration so right now you know we're all just swimming around you know the whole nine She's gonna come here and chat with her crush, Leslie. And yeah, it's just a vibe, you know? Just a dream birthday vibe. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on right now. So this is actually Riley. She was actually a child last episode. Um, but I guess, you know, she started aging up, um, which is cool. She is so cute. Um, I'm probably gonna have to make over my sims friends Amore's friends because you know when they age up they just look so crazy So I'm probably gonna touch up those their outfits off camera um, I should also say I did do some stuff off camera because I last left off It was like on Friday or Saturday in the sim world, you know now it's Tuesday so I might include screenshots. I did take screenshots of like stuff that I felt was noteworthy that happened off camera. Um, and I also wrote some stuff down here. So I guess I'll start with these. Uh, Paka became a global superstar. Um, I don't have a screenshot for that, but you know, it's self-explanatory. You know, he's just much more official now. He's like a really, really big, like legendary artist now, which is really cool just living his best mermaid life right now but yeah so he did that Amore achieved the pristine reputation which I really like I kind of like you know how that plays into the storyline of her being just like the super popular super loved kid like in the public eye and like her friends all love her and stuff um Amore uh, befriended Su Young Park and Midnight Cullen and Akira Kiba if you guys know them um Su Young and Akira are like you know they're they're artists for our record label and you know my Action. idea is that you know my daughter she got to know them because you know they're big and like she's a fan of them you know and all like her friends and stuff talk about them and you know it's just a big thing that she's able to befriend them <laughs> she has like connections in the industry and stuff and then, um, what else happened? Did anything else happen? If there is, I'll put the screenshots of what happened then. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully I do put in those screenshots of the things that I did actually take, you know, the photos of. Um, I just feel like it's just so nice, you know? Just to have that, it, it gives it such a complete vibe. Honey, what the hell? I'm having my, my sim self... Um, I'm, I was supposed to be making the birthday cake, but when we got here, um, Paka and I were like extremely angry, like both like enraged. If you guys know that emotion in The Sims, it's like next level anger. Um, I guess they were just stressed from their work and stuff. They are busy, but they said, you know, we want to come together and we really want to do this for our daughter, you know? We want to have this birthday celebration for her. She's been such a good kid. Um, I should also say that I did. Um, hold on. I just want to have them have some things to talk about. I also did want to say that um, I did have my 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 daughter. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but she did master the logic skill now. She is level eight in the charisma. Um, so she's doing really, really good. And, you know, I'm just loving that. I'm loving that whole vibe. I'm really happy that she's doing her thing. So, 
when she ages up, you know, she's just gonna be a super popular kid. You already know what's up. She's popular now, but you know, she's gonna become like a huge star when she ages up. Um, she also became friends with Luna. If you guys know Luna, she is basically like the heir to the Villa Real Fortune. Her parents were like super wealthy. They were actually involved in the crime business, so it's kind of like dirty money, but like they're aristocrats, so the government is okay with them because their money runs deep. So it's just like a whole thing where this is part of her, you know, getting more like secure connections in Windenburg so that when we do move, move over there to expand like our name and kind of build our stardom over there, which is, you know, in my mind, it's like another country. You know, we already have some people to help us. So we have like an heiress, kind of social light girl. And then we're friends with like two big stars. And I did try to make it more realistic for them. I made them like level four celebrities, Su Young and Akira, since they're both like pop stars. Um, we ended up becoming friends with our neighbor, Corinne. Um, we, oh yeah, we, we ended up becoming friends with Midnight. If you guys remember Midnight, she was like my business manager. So she's really business minded, very cutthroat. And my daughter was like, yes, like, this is who I want to know, you know? Okay, the cake. So we're just going to do this right now, you guys. I just kind of had to fill you guys in on what was going on. Add birthday candles, add birthday candles. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to do right now. Well, actually, what we need to be doing right now, we need to have these sims get out the water. We're going to have everybody go here together so we can get everybody down so that we can age my baby up. And then we do have to age up her friends, which is part of why I did invite them over. So we will be inviting her friends over. Oh, you know what? Can you put the birthday candles? Can you put the birthday candles, girl, please? Um, but so this is super cool. I love this episode so much already. It's like, you know, we had like my daughter's like friends and stuff and her best friend and stuff all come over um, to, you know, kind of celebrate, you know, her birthday and whatnot. I think that just means so much. Where is she? Come on, pumpkin pie. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have her blow out these candles. She's gonna blow out these candles. Excuse me, Dad. Excuse me. No, where are you going, Dad? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh, here she goes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I almost missed this little screenshot. Oh, I almost missed this little screenshot. Little baby. <laughs> Even though her face. <laughs> her little face. Ah, oh, man. Um, what should we do for the background? Should it be this? I don't know. We might be in, in some trouble now. I don't know if I'll be able to crop out the, the cake in her face. Well, we'll try. When I edit it. Okay. But there... Oh my gosh! <laughs> her face, you guys. She looks so crazy. She looks so crazy. Ugh. Okay, there you go, baby girl. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> Look, they're all so happy, all celebrating my little baby. And here she goes, you guys. Teenage them. Romantic travails. Sweaty gym shorts. How did I know they'd give her the do rag? Mm, 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 mm. Ah, sweaty gym shorts and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots. The ride starts here, you guys. Okay, and so now this is really important. This right here, I take picking up my Sims traits really seriously. So we are going to give her first i feel like it's important to discuss who omore is so she is a an adopted sim we adopted her when she was basically like 
like maybe like 12 years old 11 um she went through a lot in the adoption system a lot of turmoil a lot of stuff that really works against a person's self-esteem and their confidence and just their perception of reality but she does have us and we're really good parents we're about being open and loving and giving back to the world and um just being respectful um with that being said she is a very spoiled child right she's the only kid we're very very wealthy you know we have literally two houses we spent like 20 grand just for her bedroom when she when we adopted her um so she's like next level spoiled and even with good parents i feel like a kid that is literally like a millionaire even they'd be a little bit disconnected from the rest of the world you know and she's like a child star you know she's just a big deal so i was thinking of giving her um kind of the the self-absorbed trait you know so she's not outright like snobby or mean to people but she's just so used to things going her way since being adopted and so used to you know she's like a child star you know she's used to being the center of attention they're all about themselves these sims they can fish for compliments are more excited when receiving a present and may become tense when they haven't gotten enough attention the celebrity spotlight is something they generally relish after all everyone else should love them as much as they do themselves right yeah i definitely think this is kind of um omori's vibe now this doesn't make her a bad person but you know we could say that because she was neglected in the foster system she's there's like never enough attention that she can get which is actually very realistic and very common among children of neglect it's like you they just can't get enough attention so i think that works perfectly for her and since she is a popular kid you know i would maybe like to do overachiever um i'm not so sure about that one maybe we'll do it when she becomes an uh, an adult you know and she does want to be um oh they have a teen one what is this live fast well let's just do one of these first because we need one of these like the little trait here um it's either she wants to be rich which she's already kind of rich so we're gonna say she wants to be super famous we can we of course change these after we select it you know but for now like her true main gift in life is to be famous so yeah we're gonna make her her aspiration to be a world famous celebrity oh man look at her jesus jesus no we need to turn that off um <laughs> look at this girl you guys look at this girl look at this girl she looks homeless oh my god but she has just enough money for hot pink lipstick <sighs> well at least she's pretty you guys she is so beautiful she would have been beautiful anyway but you know what i mean she's like conventionally attractive which I think actually does help with getting views and stuff. Like putting cute sims on the thumbnails. I honestly think so. So <laughs> this actually helps us in many ways. But okay, so she's kind of hungry. Oh, we need to age her friends up. Yeah, we need to age her friends up, you guys. We need to age her friends up. I'm pretty sure this is how you do that, right? Age up. No, 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 no. Hold on. Age up. Age up, Sim. Yeah, Leslie. Let's la let's age up, Leslie. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. So this is her crush. Because, you know, I like to age all of them up because I feel like it's only realistic, you know? If you, like, um... If, you, if, they're, if they're in the same grade, you know, and she became a teenager... 
They should become a teenager at like literally the same time. Let's see what he looks like. And so again, after this episode is done, after I'm done recording it, um, we are going to make them all over. So this is her crush, Leslie Goth. Got a little bit of chest hair. <laughs> These Sims, they're too cute. Okay, this is cool. Oh man, he looks like a mean person, doesn't he? Doesn't he look like he has a mean trait? He literally does. Oh man, this guy looks like trouble. But again, as I've said in another episode, that's kind of her vibe. She's just used to this function. So from her, you know, chaotic upbringing in the foster system. So she's very, um, what do you call it? Kind of complicit with toxicity. She won't befriend somebody if they're mean. Only if they're mean to her. Which I feel like is kind of how a lot of people operate. Okay, we need to age some other people up. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I'm so silly. I need to add the birthday candles. Yeah, can we add those birthday candles again, Mama? Yes, thank you. Then we need to age up um, Corinne. And then does she have any other kid friends? Oh my God, we need to make her over, you guys. Whew, we need to make over this baby. She looks absolutely bananas. Oh, you know what? Should we age them up too? I think I will invite them over. I mean, we, we really don't care about these kids, but I kind of, I might have something to do with Lucas. I might with Lucas. I really might with Lucas. So, because he's another Sim that lives in Windenburg. And, you know, again, Amore, her plan when she gets older is to move over there and get established. So being friends with people, like with families that are from there, it kind of helps. And he seems like a cool kid, you know, he likes the outdoors. Not her vibe too much, but he's mainly, she mainly looks at him as like a Windenburg connection. Okay, I mean, you can come over, buddy. Uh, look, they're all celebrating um, Corinne. And that makes sense that, that the family's happy for her because she's like um, Amari's best friend. Look, and she looks cute. This is a cute outfit. Okay. That's cute, you guys. Um, oh, he's leaving? Alright, bye. See you. Can you add some birthday candles, please? More birthday candles. We need to age up uh, Lucas. She might actually end up getting with Lucas. Um, you never know. As of right now, she doesn't really hate the outdoors, so she's not too turned off by him liking the outdoors. Like, turned off to being his friend. So let's see, though. Let's, let's, let's age Lucas up. Let's see what he looks like. She might end up with, um, with this man right here, Mr. Leslie Goth, though. She's feeling, like, pressure to, like, just by life, not by us. I would never pressure my child. But she's feeling pressured, like, oh, you know, I don't know, like, if maybe I should get married to, to a goth because it'll kind of make our family names more powerful. She's really, you know, about, like, expanding power and money, um, Amore. You could kind of look at it as her fault. She just loves money and power maybe a little bit too much. Or just more than most people. Put it that way. Because she has us, and we kind of humble her to keep her from being like a full-blown crazy capitalist. Right, this is what he looks like. He looks cute, you guys. He looks really cute, you guys. Ooh, he looks so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. Ooh, even though he's in such a bad mood. <laughs> Goodness gracious, he looks so cute. Oh my gosh. He is so cute. Look at how handsome he looks. Ooh! We are totally crushing on him, you guys. Totally crushing on him. So yeah, so like, um, so now Omori is like, she likes Leslie. But then she's kind of like, wait, hold on. Lucas is cute. 
cute cute she's like man you know I never really got to know him you know it was just by chance that I invited him over just we could say we invited him over late to our birthday party because we did go to school together and she was like hey you know if you want to swing by you know we're just you know about to cut the cake and whatnot and he's like really sure oh my gosh look that's the second trait he got so he loves the outdoor oh oh you guys this is it you guys i think they're gonna be together forever i'm calling it right now you guys i'm calling it right now you guys the fact that i said that she likes him now and that he's so cute and in the game she has a major crush on him yeah i'm sorry leslie it's not gonna work our family's more powerful than his anyway Ringo. It is not gonna work. Oh my gosh, because he is so cute, you guys. But let's all let's take a piece. Let's all take a piece together. We're like, all right, you know. Let's eat. Some food. We age. We all aged up now. I am curious still about his trait, his extra trait that he got. Um, I do wonder what it is. See, this is so cute, you guys. Quandula <laughs> Stevie invited all our friends over to to you know chill with us, celebrate our birthday. Look at them. This is so cute, you guys. In our beach house kitchen, just living our life. Everybody's talking, just chatting a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at Amore though. Dude. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say, she actually looks like a young adult. Like she just looks like so mature. And not just because, you know, teens kind of look like young adults in this game. Like her face, she looks kind of mature. So I was gonna say, um... You know, that's kind of kind of going to work into the storyline where she ends up kind of being more independent much earlier on than other other kids. Um, so I think I'm going to have her move out as a teenager. Because how many days is she a teenager for? Oh my god. Ooh, that's a long time. So maybe for her last week or for the last week and a half of her being a teen. I usually do this with my rich, you know, accomplished teen sims. I have them move out, you know, because we're obviously rich enough to buy her her own, like, mansion and, like, a side house if she wanted. So, I figure when you're that rich, and I mean, it is pretty realistic. Didn't Kylie Jenner have her own house when she was, like, 18? I'm pretty sure she did. So, you know, we're kind of going to follow that style. What do you do when you're rich, like, beyond belief? You kind of just, you know can start life early your adult life um and then i would love oh i know what i'm gonna do you guys when i come back next episode you're gonna see you guys oh my gosh i'm thinking of so much stuff um but yeah so for right now um we're just gonna wrap this episode up it's gonna be up in like a minute and a half um some other stuff that I did want to mention is that, um, hold on, I want to find, is Corinne here? Did she leave? Okay, yeah, she, she, she left. Okay, and then Lucas is here, right? Yeah, Lucas is here. So, maybe we're gonna get to know Lucas because, you know, he might be around more. Because Amori really likes him. <clears throat> and what I was going to say was that um, something that also happened off camera. Paka here, he ended up uh, mastering the painting, a.k.a. money-making skill. So just like how my sim self is always... Um, I mean, he could just work out or something. But you know, he's a mermaid. And we don't go to the beach house all the time, so... He's going to really enjoy like a nice swim around. But um, he ended up mastering the skills. So now he's always doing business moves and stuff. 
and he's more involved in our record label he is like kind of like the co-founder so he's helping close deals and stuff and distribution deals and whatnot so he's making his own money he has his own business deals aka paintings aka business deals that he can you know kind of make profit from and i had them work a lot over the like the time that i wasn't recording like the from the time of like last episode to now um i kind of did as kind of like a big milestone like my sim self and paco worked really hard to try and be really high up you know in like our careers and stuff and make a lot of money before or by the time that amori aged up just so that we can kind of like um we're planning things in the tabloids so like right around the time that Omori ages up and we are all famous so it's gonna be in the news or you know like in the media we're also making it to where like we make more money so what I'm gonna do now actually now that this episode is over I'm gonna sell all the business deals you know we're gonna close them off camera and they're gonna get all that money and they're gonna have like over a million simoleons so they're now going to be also in the media for like, you know, having over a million dollars cash or whatever. We could say it's like, you know, they're taking, you know, the country by storm with that. Um, and then I am going to have to make over all of Amori's teen friends, which I don't really mind doing too much. I think it's kind of fun. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to have to make over Amore. <laughs> Just so much makeovers. And um, yeah, you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. I know I kind of talked a lot in this episode, but you know, it's just a let's play and there's just so much that happens when my Sims age up and there was just so much that I had to say. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye, you guys. I love you. Bye. <laughs>